make sure to tape down your paper so that it doesn't slip. Next we're going to mark the middle section of our paper at four and one quarter of an inch in on the top and the bottom and then draw a line dissecting the paper in half. Next we're going to measure up one half an inch from the bottom and then one inch from that mark and again at the top one half inch down and one inch down again from that mark. Now we're going to mark our shoulder line at about three quarters of an inch down. Drop down about five eighths of an inch to mark our bust line. Now we're going to draw our head shape in our top one inch. And next we're going to draw some angled lines for our shoulder and bust point. Whichever direction the shoulder and bust point go, you need to remember to do the opposite action for the waist and hips, which we will draw now. Come down about an inch from your bust point, and that will be your natural waist, and then again 5 eighths to 3 quarters down for our hips. Next we're going to block out the torso. on both sides now we're going to draw the panty line and begin tracing our neck from our head to our shoulders connecting with shoulder blades Next step is to draw the arms. So we're going to lay out with lines and then fill out the natural shape of the arm to the elbow and the forearm from the elbow to the fist resting on the hip. Our other arm will hang straight down the arm length should go past the hip and the hand should start a half an inch or so below the panty line. Now it's time to draw the legs. The leg that's holding the weight will be from the side of the hip that is the highest. So this leg needs to come straight down because that is where the form will be balancing all of its weight on. Our other leg will come out to the side to give some drama to the pose. Taper in at the knee about halfway down the leg and then again at the ankle we'll taper out and form the foot. And now we have a simple blocking method and it's time to trace our croquis on a new piece of paper. So we'll tape this paper down as well so that we don't have any movement interrupting our trace of the form below. Using a fine tip marker, we'll trace the head, neck, and shoulders. We won't need any of our foundational lines just yet. We just want to make sure that we outline the form. It's best to pull a clean line so whenever you can, don't stop the pencil or marker from moving until you're at a place where you can change direction or where the line deviates from where you're pulling.
and we'll draw the neckline, our center line, trace out our panty line, our natural hip, waist, bust, and shoulders. And then we'll draw our princess lines down the center front. And that is a simple block method for doing a fashion croquis.